My favorite thing about Paul Pepper is that he's an outspoken obsessive. His main obsession, for those unfamiliar, is with TV. More specifically, the art of making TV. He used to have his own show on KOMU. Actually, he's had more than one. I just wanted to do this so bad that there was never a doubt in my mind. While other kids looked up to superheroes and athletes, Paul's greatest hero was a television star, Charlotte Peters. After seeing her live variety show in St. Louis, Paul made his mind up. He was going to be a television star too. His first job in television was at KOMU-TV in Columbia. Thanks to the station manager at the time, his third was hosting his own TV show. Welcome to our brand new show, Pepper and Pepper. We're about to witness one of the most pathetic athletic spectacles in recent memory. No man can say baby like a black man can. <laughs> I'm going to make an announcement today. After almost 40 years on the air and 27, 27 years on Pepper and Friends, uh, KOMU has decided not to continue with our show. Uh, this is actually one of the most difficult announcements that I have had to, to make. I'm 72 <laughs> and, and I I did that and I lived my dream and now I'm living another chapter of a dream good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday August the 29th one of my favorite people here ah, there she is <laughs> Barbara Buffalo Hi, Paul. so today I'm taking a lesson from the guy who never doubted himself because if Paul taught me anything it's that a passion is more than just something you believe in it gives you a reason to get up in the morning, and it keeps you up at night. And it plagues you, and it begs you to keep going, despite everything. But if you live with passion, then years from now, when you're a completely different person from who you are today, you'll thank yourself. Because in that moment, you'll look back and be able to say, honestly, that you got everything you ever wanted.